of the inner webs. We are. It's Secret Agent Night. I'm blowing my cover to reveal my secret identity. <gasps> This is the Cozy Reading Series. We're a group of actors for roommates, and we get together and we read plays once a week. I'm Natalie Osborne. I'm Alex Earl Richardson. I'm Joseph Murdoch. I'm Tony Collins. And I'm Katie. Woo! <laughs> I'll give you all the money, sir. Just please don't shoot. I would never shoot you. Oh, now safely inside the vault with no one else around, Margo spins on her heels and angrily snatches the items from Griffin's hand. You couldn't even if you wanted to. This is a curling iron. Uh, you said it would feel like a gun. Uh, did it? You're supposed to be wearing your ski mask. She hangs it down over his face. It's not a proper ski mask. The middle section is gone, so his face is still clearly seen. Griffin grins. Thanks, Gogo. Now my ears are warm. Just how thick are you? Ooh, speaking of thick, can we get milkshakes after this? I must don't have left them back in the. the I'm sorry! You, I've never done this before! I don't know! Our pockets? What's going on in here? Uncle Percy? Uncle Percy? Margo runs over to Percy and gives him a hug. But you. You died 13 years ago. Right. I faked my own death and moved to a trampoline so I wouldn't get arrested. When we were little, Uncle Percy used us as decoys during his robberies. We left all the way to the bank. <laughs> and I cut you in. Remember that time the cops stopped you in front of the First National because you had a fistful of bills? Honest officer, we made this money selling Girl Scout cookies. Selling Girl Scout cookies! <laughs> <laughs> that was the day you taught us to make sure the serial numbers on the bills were nonsense central. Non-sequential. Whatever! So this is Breaking Cover by Ali Costa. That would be room service. Sistrinka! Allegra blocks Daphne with her arm and holds her back. That's not Three more knots. <laughs> I want to eat breakfast in bed. Pay ten bucks for pancakes, then I'm gonna look good doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch reruns of Supernatural too, because I can. I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you come anywhere near. You will threaten your own brother. Daphne pops her head out of the bathroom. You didn't tell me you had a brother. Daphne tries to nonchalantly pull the sleep mask off her head and fluff her hair. She gives me Hall the once over. Uh, hello, soldier. Go back in the room, <laughs> Daphne. I was a spy. I'm not anymore. Being an informant was just my way out. Out of my family of thieves and out of the country so I could go to school. Traitor. Hey. Lots of people move away from home to go to college. <laughs> Michal opens the door. There stands Denny, a small fry in a bellboy uniform that's too big for him, complete with hat. He's pushing a food cart. He, tenses, he senses the tension in the room and tenses up himself. Uh, room service! She opens the door, revealing a menacing man whose sheer presence fills the space. Brooke smiles broadly and waves him in without a second glance. Come in, come in. Brooke rushes around her apartment, tidying things up as she speaks. Meanwhile, the man slowly, silently extends one hand palm up. I can't thank you enough for doing this. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find someone to house sit. I know it's last minute, but everyone I know just seems to be incommunicado or out of town. But I can't leave Mitzi and the plants here all along weekend. Uh, all weekend, can I? She drops a set of keys into the man's open palm. He looks confused and hands her back the keys. I'm here for the package. They call me Pigeon, because I'm the messenger. <laughs> Otherwise, it's as loud as my Aunt Martha. You got an Aunt Martha? I got an Aunt Martha. I think everyone on the Upper East Side has an Aunt Martha. Why did you say that name? <laughs> they share an Ellie Knapp and she's <laughs> back with another easy toss. Del Velcio's gonna kill me. You work for Del Velcio? The Tom Tom? That's fantastic. Fantastic! Eh, not so much. Really? He never pays overtime. He dumped my sister into the river. And get this, no dental plan. Seriously? Mm -hmm. In this day and age? <laughs> I know, right? Well, thank you all. Thank you again, Ali. And thank you all so much for watching this today. If you had fun, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and click that notification bell so we can get even more people to watch some awesome new plays. I uh, wanted to just plug a little bit. Um, I make, if you see these masks, and also the one that Natalie has, I'm making these. Um, and because none of us have jobs, I'm selling them for $7 plus shipping. 
So I also, I make half moons masks, which are these ones right here in three sizes. And I um, make the health worker accordion masks. Um, so if you are a healthcare worker, um, if you, I can also send them for free for healthcare workers. Um, I don't charge if there's a real need. So I will plug my email down below in the chat. Um, and if you're interested, send me an email. We can talk and get all that squared away. So if you need some, message me. <laughs> Is anybody else thinking of Queen right now? Is this the real life? <laughs> Is this just fantasy? Um, I'm not necessarily a spy. I work in the headquarters. <laughs> yeah, he's so, this M. He's the tech guy. He's M. I do. M I'm M tech. Dun, 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 dun,